Welcome to Global One Media. This is Stocks to Watch, your chance to hear directly from the top executives of publicly listed companies. I'm your host, Michelle Martin. Welcome investors to a spotlight on Canadian North Resources, a Canadian mining company, which is a late stage exploration company. It recently announced the completion of a large diamond drilling project, on its Ferguson Lake project in Canada, which it owns. Get ready to explore the potential that Canadian North Resources brings to the investment landscape. Canadian North Resources trades in Toronto under the ticker C. NRI on the TSX Venture Exchange, over the counter in the US as CNRSF and in Frankfurt as EO0. Joining me today is Trevor Boyd, Vice President for Exploration for Canadian North Resources. Hi, Trevor, how are you? Hello, how are you? Thank you for inviting me. Great to speak with you again. Let's start with your drilling program for the Ferguson Lake property. It had an intended depth of 20,000 meters, and that's been successfully completed. In fact, you exceeded the target, drilling a total of 21,126 meters. Trevor, can you elaborate on the project and the significance of what's been identified? Uh, basically, we have uh, sur uh, surpassed now our target two years in a row for a total of 39,270 meters. Uh, um, and that has provided us with a large database for the planned uh, update of our 43101 mineral resource at the end of the year. So a huge resource in terms of results, which we hope you'll interpret for us. I understand that 69 out of these 78 holes drilled intersect with semi-massive to massive sulfides, which contain a whole host, nickel, copper, cobalt, palladium, plat platinum as well. Talk to us about these intersections and what they suggest about the potential deposits. The program was quite a success, even before the assays have come back, because they, they point to or they confirm the consistency of the 15 kilometer mineralized horizon. Uh, and also demonstrate that this horizon remains open along strike both to the east and west, as well as down strike, of course. I mean, down dip, of course. Again, I want to touch on those assay results. You've received results from the initial 21 holes. Tell us from your perspective, what stands out and what do you anticipate in terms of results coming back for the remaining 57 drill holes? The initial results were fi were filed in, and released in, in July uh, 2020 this year. They basically show both the east zone and the west zone, which make up the, min the mineralized horizon, extend for 2.7 kilometers into Ferguson Lake. And well, they provide confirmation of that zone uh, for the potential of those two, two zones within that horizon joining together. Um, right now, there are uh, still 57 holes uh, pending for, for with assays pending. Over 3,200 uh, uh, samples have been submitted for, for assay, and we are waiting the results for those. And we expect uh, similar, similar encouraging results. Fantastic. In terms of what happens uh, in the meantime, what are the next steps for the Ferguson Lake project? And what will be your primary focus? Our primary focus uh, is uh, is now that target has been surpassed for this year, uh, is to take that database uh, once the assays from the fifty seven holes are back, to to take that database, use it to update a, a new forty three one one resource at the end of the year, um, and but which will be filed publicly. What can you tell investors about the Ferguson Lake project's potential as you see it now and um, what you anticipate for the near future? We are looking at that updated 43101 resource that will serve as a base for, for commencing our pre-feasibility studies, which will be ongoing through 2024. The updated resource is key for doing that, and that's why that is our focus. And are there any other insights or updates that you can share with our shareholders who may have already bought into the company? Uh, 
just that we are we are continuing to do what we said we would do as we complete our our work on our pre feasibility studies next year, which is which is our plan. We will also be uh, continually expanding this mineral deposit, both along strike at shallow depths and down dip. There is a lot of blue sky potential with this with this project uh, beyond whatever resource we file. A lot of blue sky potential. I'm sure that's music to investors' ears. We've been exploring how Canadian North Resources' progress of its drilling program is coming along. They're in an emerging Canadian mining district, which encompasses a diverse geologic environment. My guest today is Vice President for Exploration for Canadian North Resources, Trevor Boyd. Trevor, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Michelle, for your good questions and for your interest. 